So wireless, now there's a can of worms. Um, most of the time wireless can be very dangerous, whether it's at home or in office. You want to pretty much avoid wireless unless you really decide you want it. And if you do want it, be sure and use it as securely as possible. There are some alternatives. One alternative is running copper, which means you have ethernet cables running to everything or every place. And sometimes in people's homes, their internet modem, their DSL or cable modem is right next to their computer, yet they use wireless. And that's just crazy. You're better off just running a short ethernet cable between the two. You'll have very solid high-speed performance and not the neighbor's kids aren't going to be able to use your network to go out and look at something that you sure wouldn't want going through your own network connection. But if you do decide to use wireless, then you can do so, and I'm going to show you the ways that you can make it more secure. The most important thing to do with your wireless is to enable strong encryption. And the strong encryption, I'm sure it's very difficult for you to see in this video, but it's right here and it says WPA2, and WPA2 is what you want. What you don't want is none. N-O-N-E, which means no encryption. You don't want W-E-P, and you don't want W-P-A. What you want is W-P-A-2. Now, you may find that some of your old computers are not compatible with W-P-A-2. They only work with one of the insecure encryption methods. And if that's the case, your best bet is to go down to your local office supply store or computer store and get a little USB network interface card that plugs into your old computer. So you can turn off the old wireless card in the computer itself, use the new one that you bought very inexpensively that is compatible with WPA2. That way you can go ahead and make your network encrypted and secure, as secure as you can be wirelessly. Another setting that some people will tell you is real important is to use what's called Mac filtering, where you can put in a list of all the computers that have permission to connect to your wireless network. And the thing to know about this is it's a lot of trouble to set up and a determined criminal can get right around it. So I'm not going to tell you not to use it, but just understand don't rely on only Mac filtering to protect yourself. It, it'll keep out the people who are not familiar with how to get around it. That's the only people it's going to keep out. Another bit of advice you'll get a lot with wireless is to disable the SSID broadcast. And I think that's a good idea. But here again, understand that a determined criminal, that isn't going to stop them. Uh, it'll barely even slow them down. So it's nice, but not as good as WPA2 encryption. Another setting to check is called your firmware. The firmware is the program that runs in your wireless access point. It's important to download the free updates to your firmware, especially if they fix some kind of security problem. And as you'll notice, this is probably the most geeky thing I've shown you so far. Having a qualified IT professional assist you with this can be very, very helpful. Now this screen may be difficult to read in this video, but it's basically showing a bunch of wireless access points on people's networks that are surrounding my computer right now. So if you think other people can't pick up your wireless network, they probably can, especially if they have what's called a high gain antenna. And in all the networks that I'm seeing here just at this moment, none of them are encrypted at WPA2. So you can see that there are a lot of people that are using wireless insecurely. If you're going to use wireless, be sure to be one of the people who do it right.